I've wanted to try this for a while now, but honestly, it seemed so intimidating to me, and it's also kind of expensive to start. But my friend let me borrow his entire tufting setup, and I got to try it all out before investing in all the supplies, and now I'm hooked. I'm planning on making my own tufting frame and getting all the materials, because the world of making rugs has just opened up to me, and I'm obsessed. Just like most of my projects, I am completely winging it, but I thought I would show you guys how I made this strawberry rug and what I took away from the whole tufting experience, especially as a beginner. I started by stretching the fabric out on the frame and you want to pull it as tight as you can. And then I sketched out my design with chalk. can get kind of spendy, but this one worked really well for me, so I feel like it's good as a beginner one, and it's relatively affordable on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it and all the supplies I used below. Threading the gun is fairly simple. It's a lot easier if you have a little threading tool to help you pull the yarn through the hole, but as you can see, I did not, so I was constantly struggling with this. It took me a few tries to get the tufting right, but after a few runs, it was pretty smooth sailing, although I did have to re-thread often because my setup didn't have a yarn holder that would help feed the yarn into the gun. So I had to constantly give the yarn slack by hand to keep it from getting pulled out, which happened a lot. But this is a pretty simple fix with a yarn holder or a dispenser. So I will be adding that to my setup. <music> The tufting itself is pretty straightforward, literally. You wanna keep the gun going in a forward direction. I started by outlining the whole thing and then I maintained vertical lines close together to fill it all in. And I might've even overdone the amount and not needed as many lines. You can check the thickness on the other side and it fills in surprisingly fast. For reference, I used about one and a half balls of yarn for this entire rug. Really recommend keeping your eye out at thrift stores or yard sales for yarn. You can find pretty good deals that way. For the leaves, I tried doing two different ways of filling them in. First doing longer horizontal lines and then shorter lines vertically. I found that the longer lines were a little bit easier and they came out a lot cleaner. One thing I wish I did differently here was start with the detail shapes first, like the seeds. I found that when I did them last, it was really hard to make the shape precise, although I do kind of like how all the seeds ended up a little bit different. I applied carpet adhesive to the back and I kind of improvised from here. To cover the back, I actually repurposed some old curtains. I cut them down and then laid them right on the adhesive and I pressed it down flat and then let it dry completely. And then I cut the entire thing out, leaving a little fabric around the edges to fold over later. I wanted to make sure the backing wasn't visible when the rug's finished and I lay it flat. So I made sure all the little edges were folded over a little bit and then I hot glued the fabric down Thank you. 
I ended up putting some masking tape over that rough edge, but you can get specific rug tape for that if you want a cleaner look on the back. The last step was shaving the whole thing down with an electric trimmer. This was the most satisfying part. I used scissors to cut the edges and do the details and then I was done. I really enjoyed doing this project and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It was way less scary than I thought it was gonna be. It made me really excited to make more rugs. So seriously, if you've been wanting to try this or another type of project and it's intimidating to you, just do it. Usually it's not as scary as it seems and you might walk away with a new hobby or a cute little strawberry rug. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more DIY and I'll see you next time.